For the past 18 years, detectives have investigated this case and reviewed this case multiple times in hopes of developing new leads, but unfortunately, this case has remained cold since 2004 until today. In October 19th, 2004, several people called 911 to report that they had found the body of Keisha Brown in an apartment at the 700 block of East Flamingo. During interviews, detectives determined that Keisha Brown's boyfriend had found her inside a bathtub inside of the apartment and she had been covered up uh, inside the bathtub. The autopsy uh, conducted by the Clark County Coroner's Office later determined that her cause of death was strangulation homicide. During autopsy, it was also determined that Keisha Brown had been stabbed, beaten, and murdered by strangulation. Based on interviews conducted by detectives during the initial investigation, it was determined that the suspect was likely going to be a light-skinned black male, five foot eight, with a stocky build. Several witnesses reported that that male arrived in the apartment complex in a red sedan, went into Brown's apartment, and then later exited carrying a duffel bag. Unfortunately, nobody was able to identify who that male was. In August of 2022, during a cold case review, Investigator Long, who has been a member of our homicide section for numerous years, recognized the fact pattern on this hom unsolved homicide as it, as it related possibly to a 2005 murder investigation he conducted. Based on that case review, we coordinated with the LVMPD DNA Forensic Lab to conduct additional testing on the evidence that was located on Keisha Brown during her autopsy. During that additional, in December 2022, we received the results of that DNA forensic testing and then identified the person responsible for the murder of Keisha Brown as Norman Flowers, who's pictured here to my left. Today, cold case investigators with the assistance of the Clark County District Attorney's Office secured an arrest warrant for Norman Flowers related to the murder of Keisha Brown in 2004. Currently, Brown is in custody. Currently, Flowers is in custody with the Nevada Department of Corrections for the 2005 murder, which he was convicted of, of Shayla Quarles, Marley Coote, and Renee Gonzalez. At this time, I'd like you to introduce you to Keisha Brown's daughter. I just want to say thank you to the police department. I went this slow without knowing anything that happened to my mom. No questions could be answered for me through anyone. So the fact that I'm getting to know this, I'm just so thankful for it. On behalf of the LVMPD cold case team, I'd like to personally thank the LVMPD DNA Forensic Lab, the Clark County District Attorney's Office, and also our victim advocate who are able to make uh, this press conference possible today. It is their continued support towards our shared endeavor of providing justice to the victims of murder and also providing some sort of closure and resolution for the victims' families related to homicides. With that, I'll take any additional questions you may have. Go ahead, Denise. So I just want to clarify, so he's already in prison for killing three other women? He is, yes. So do you think he was just um, trying to get the victim to admit that he was the one who killed her? By, I would say by definition, he does meet the definition of a serial killer. Um, we believe, based on the evidence we have that we know of right now, that the other murders happened in the spring of 2005, and we believe that this was the first one. 
going to be prosecuted on this one? That's he is. Arrested. We Yes, we have an arrest warrant secured, and we're going through the process of uh, getting the booking process completed on that. You said a cold case detective looks back at yes. this case and saw similarities between this case and the 2005 cases. Is that correct? Can we that, that is correct. Uh, 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 detective Long, uh, who has been with our investigative, uh, our homicide detail for many years, uh, when he went to review this case, noticed the fact pattern matched or the modus operandi matched uh, his investigation from 2005 and based on that requested uh, additional DNA work. Go ahead. Is there any known motive for the other murders or this one? Uh, based upon this murder and the other murders, uh, it, it follows the same fact pattern of uh, what we believe is a sexual assault that led to a murder. Can you elaborate more on that? Like, is it a certain method he used in breaking in to, into the homes? Uh, was it something that was just a dead giveaway? Uh, the, it, the fact pattern that leads to each one of them, there's a, there's, some, there's a sexual aspect to each one of them. There's the way in which the, uh, the deaths occurred, and then there's a way that the body was placed. And, uh, it, uh, and all of those together uh, made, us, made Detective Long instantly believe that he was uh, working another murder involving Norman Flowers. Was there something in the DNA that it took this long to connect with? There's a, there's a lot of stuff uh, when it comes to DNA, that laws we have to follow and all that stuff. For this case, it required a direct comparison uh, to a sample for Norman Flowers on this case. Um, every case involves a little of these, sometimes involves a little bit of luck. It just so happens that the reviewer of this investigation happened to be the detective who worked the initial case on Norman Flowers, and then we were able to use uh, the advancements in DNA and uh, forensics to, uh, to come and solidify the case. And how long has he been in custody at the Department of Corrections? When was he initially arrested on the 2005 case? Detective Long, what year was he? 2005. Go ahead, Denise. Was there anything that was linking him to all of these victims? Did he know them, or were these strangers and these just random killings? Uh, I don't think that we fully determined all that. Do you have any information on that, Dan? The, the full connection between everything? There were connections that I'm not willing to talk about right now. Okay. Right now, we are still, he's still possibly in an appeal process on the other murders, so I don't want to dive too much into the other murders at this point in time. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. I appreciate your time.